right, Sarah, for me, I'm coming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to you. This feels just so refreshing for a Pixar film. It's like young girl's experience. She's Chinese Canadian. There's a lot of humor, a lot of nostalgia. Why did you want to tell this story? Um, yeah, it's uh, it's basically a story that I've always wanted to tell, like a coming of age story around like a girl. I feel like when I was May's age, I didn't have a lot of stories like that to like look to to kind of help me, help guide me through this crazy time in my life when my body was changing, my relationships were changing, my emotions were changing every hour. And uh, that was just my hope with making this movie that like, like for that 13 year old me to like be able to watch it and laugh and in enjoy it and like yeah. realize that Growing up is messy and, and funny and, and embarrassing, but it, everyone goes through it with it and you'll be okay. There's just not a lot of realistic kind of portrayals of teen girls in movies. I feel like there's a ton probably of boys, but not very many of girls. And like how hard and funny and dorky and over the top and like, you know, like just normal they are in all of those feelings. So it was really fun to make a movie just targeted exactly to those that very age and that type of like experience that girls go through. And what an incredible cast managed to put together. I mean, Sandro is just like one of these people that's just like going from strength to strength. Yeah. Also Rosalie, also Anne-Marie. So tell me yeah. about putting these, you know, all these amazing women together and yeah. working with them. Yeah, I mean, I, Sandra Oh is a no-brainer I mean, for sure. We were just like, please, 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 say, yes. please say yes. Yeah, it felt like she was like the only actress yeah. we could ask to, who had like the range and the energy and the humor, but and also- just made this yeah. character like, likable and dimensional like she she could have easily gone like archetypal or stereotypical and like Sandra just brings this like depth and emotion to it so and then Rosalie yeah we was like Rosalie. a total gift I mean like we cast her just being like oh she'll just be our temporary voice you know she's a kid actor that hasn't really done anything and then like within about I don't know like a few months we were like oh we couldn't even separate yeah. her from May she, we were she like was May yeah she yeah. was helping us like figure out who the character was going to be. Even yeah. she was so great. And so. Then it was so perfect that Anne Marie like agreed to be in our movie because like she made that song 2002, 2002. I know, which like exactly where this movie which takes place. We would place. play sometimes like on our like crew meetings. We would play like to that like as like a song, and then and we were like, oh my god, she's going like, to be in it. In yeah, movie. so amazing. she understands the nostalgia. Yeah. that like that, that clearly. energy. Yeah, she clearly so, understands really. it. Yeah. And what do you hope people will take away from watching it? And do you think films like this show that the tide is turning? There's such an appetite out there for female-led yeah. stories and for female filmmakers to have yeah. a chance to be on the wheel. Yeah, yeah. I hope like when people watch a movie, like they learn to like, yeah, embrace their own inner yeah. pandas. Just like learn to embrace all the messiness of 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 life, of your relationship yeah. with your mom, of your emotions, right? Kind of normalize it, you yeah. know? It's like, there's no such thing as perfection. We should stop trying to hit it, you know? So I think it's just about kind of normalizing the whole experience. Yeah. This movie was inspired loosely by my own life growing up as this awkward, dorky, Chinese-Canadian girl uh, living in Toronto, Canada. And, uh, you know, this movie is pretty much just it's it's a it's like a movie for that 13 year old version of myself to kind of like tell her that you know growing up is going to be messy it's going to be okay everybody goes through it everybody goes through yeah. it you're going to wake up and you're not going to like recognize yourself or all of the feelings inside of you or understand why you're emotional all the time or why you're fighting with your parents all the time but that it that everyone goes through with it and you're going to be okay yeah yeah <laughs> Domi, Domi drew my attention to this movie. I was a huge fan of Bao, obviously, like all of us were, and I got a chance to work with her in development really, really early on. And I was like, oh my gosh, this girl is gonna like take a, take an idea and make it totally different and be such a different and fresh voice for the studio. And I think everybody at Pixar felt that way when they first heard the movie. They were like, oh my god, this is gonna feel like a totally different, but yet fits perfectly in our in our like legacy of film. So that I was I was wanting to work with Domi. The pandemic was one. <laughs> All of a sudden, finding out one day that we're like all going to have to leave and make the film from home was like, we had no idea what we were doing. So a lot of it was just figuring out and scrambling. And then, you know, Domi, like, as a first-time director, had nowhere to hide. Like, every, she used, you could normally sit in a dark room and you can yeah. judge it, nobody's looking at you. But then on Zoom, like, everybody's, like, looking yeah. at your face the whole time. So she was, like, having to make sure she was always, like, cheerleading and expressing, like, oh, I love it, it's great, you know? And it was, like, it's just very different. And so the fact that she, you know, we all had to kind of figure it out as we went. So that was a huge, unexpected challenge. Yeah, yeah. And then for, for me, like, creatively, I think just... Uh, you know, being responsible for telling this like specific story about this like Asian 
Canadian kid and her relationship with her mom and like trying to resolve it in a way that feels realistic and satisfying uh, that the two characters kind of go through growth but also not sugarcoating it and not wrapping it up in like a fancy yeah. perfect bow because like none of our relationships with our parents are ever perfectly resolved and it's especially for like immigrant and Asian kids it's always going to be an ongoing kind of thing so <laughs> they're all like yeah yeah and just like trying to capture that nuance in the in the story yeah I think for it me would have been easier challenging. if we just tried to wrap it all up in a bow but it, we went for the harder more yeah. realistic route yeah yeah but sure. it's still they're still growing yeah they're this, still growing these two yeah thank you so much